hello everyone welcome to this video series so today i'm going to explain you to how can you write a motivation letter for a phd so it is basically the main general base is the same as the advice i gave for master's motivation letter you can see that video flashing on the screen here so just like that you need to highlight uh, your strengths and you don't need to copy the CV you need to rather elaborate the CV be very specific with what you mention uh, accompanied by why you mention those points by giving proper examples try to connect them to your strength your experience your past education with the position you are applying for and always remember that my friends phd motivation letter is really short and to the point it is mostly read by professors so don't have they don't have that much time to read a long letter apart from that the basic requirements you can see in that video of master's motivation letter and now let me give you an example motivation letter of using which i got i wrote many motivation letters got many rejections but in this video i will only explain the motivation letter that i used to get admit for my phd with full funding like 100 percent scholarship whatever you can say because here phd is like a job so we get a salary during our phd let me give you an example of my letter so friends as you can see uh, right away I start by explaining about the PhD position that I am applying for and from where I got the information. So it is always good to mention immediately in the beginning like for what you are applying for. Then what I do is I create a match between my background and the position I have applied for which you can see here I have created a match. And after that what I do is then I go back to my bachelor's uh, bachelor days and follow a chronological order from bachelor's to master's which is here. So this is how I build the story. You can make it in any way you want but this is just an example. So the thing is that they should sound as a coherent uh, match like when you go from one section to other or one line to one line another line or one paragraph to another paragraph then they should sound kind of a very like lucid flow of the thing that you are trying to explain now you can read it this letter will be there in the description below so that you can go through it i will leave my letter through which i got the phd and moving on to the second paragraph so uh, before going to the second paragraph, I also forgot to mention that uh, I also highlight these strengths like some of the characteristics that I developed from bachelor's to master's which make me a fit candidate for the PhD along with specific examples highlighting those characteristics like for example if you take like the fascinating thing about research is that I is the way it helps an individual to design problems and attempt to solve problems so this is example of why I like research this can be uh, something else for you or maybe a example that uh, I also gave a, a example if you can see here like about my publications during my work the publication that I made during masters if you don't have publication don't bother no need to uh, mention something which you don't have like good communication skills also helped me a lot during discussions. I became an independent researcher which is evident from my thesis work. So you see, I give small hints of evidence or examples which, which makes, which strengthens your letter because if you make certain claims without giving examples, it is very uh, arbitrary or vague and people will start to lose belief on you. Moving to the second paragraph quickly, it is entirely about my master thesis. I think anyone can understand because you need to be able to communicate your ideas as simple as possible even though you are applying for your field like it's not meant to be read by a layman but still try to make it very simplistic so if you can see the entire second paragraph is about my phd uh, sorry about my master thesis you can go through it 
and moving on to the third paragraph third paragraph is about the phd position requirements for which i am applying so some of my thoughts as to how i can contribute for that position based on the description that i saw in the phd opening so the main purpose of the third paragraph if you see is basically the main purpose of the third paragraph is to kind of create an impression in the mind of the reader that i have a critical thinking ability i can reason with what i am mentioning here and my thoughts can be kind of an evidence give him an evidence that i can reason i may i can make a good reasoning so yeah basically that was the main purpose of third part and also that i have read the description properly and given some time to think about that position or the description like how can that be solved even though it is not correct they appreciate a lot if you have given a thought and your time for that and going to the last paragraph as i said you my friend sometimes it is also within one page here i have in the beginning like the addressing and everything which occupies a lot of the space otherwise you have a word limit or a page limit you have to see it's generally very very short so going to the last paragraph before doing much delay um so again what i do in the final paragraph is i prove the same way why i am the best fit candidate for the phd because uh, you need to com communicate with them and prove them like why you are the best candidate because there might be a huge pool of applicants and then highlight some of the other characteristics that i developed and which make me fit for the phd apart from explaining some general uh statements about what i believe about phd in general so something like transition into a dedicated research domain i have a optimistic attitude adaptability to changing circumstances yeah so you can read it it will be in the description below so i hope you like this video you could understand how you can write a motivation letter that is the purpose of this video and to understand even more basics you can go to the masters motivation letter video and uh, yeah so that's what i wanted to say uh, if you like this video don't forget to smash the like button share this video help each other out help your friends uh, you can also email me my email is in the about section of the youtube uh, sometimes whenever i get time i offer free advice or even go through your motivation letter and give you a final uh, feedback on your motivation letter and keep watching stay tuned see you in the upcoming video don't forget to subscribe to the channel see you goodbye peace